Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day here in Yalai. Few clouds in the sky, but uh, and today we're on another little adventure. And today's adventure is Kitchen. So, as you know, we're renovating an old house and we're looking for a kitchen. So, rather than buy something pre-made, like, like Ikea style or, or something we have to DIY assemble, uh, one of the options is to get a bespoke kitchen made and we believe it's relatively inexpensive so we're here uh, on the airport street looking at uh, some kitchens you can see the wife's inside right now I thought I'd just get some footage before I pop in uh, excuse me so yeah we're looking for a bespoke kitchen and we're gonna find out price range and you know just accessibility so Let's go, folks. Hey, folks, welcome back. So, we're currently talking through with a woman there about the cost involved and the type of material involved. Um, but I kind of already knew it would be MDF base with a melamine cover. And that's exactly what they've got. And if I look on the floor here, you can see uh, here's some of the MDF uncovered. Um, it looks quite, it looks like 15 mil, so it's quite tough. But, um, you know, so far they've been reluctant to give us just a simple base cost, so we'll see how it works out. But let me just flip the camera around, you can get an idea of what we're looking at. Again, just MDF with a wood laminate cover, but the doors are quite nice. I like that with a, you can get your hand underneath or uh, at the top. But yeah, very similar. I mean, very similar to what they're making at IKEA, I think. But IKEA's, um, I think the MDF or the particle board that they use is much more, um, uh, much lighter, less dense. Whereas this um, this uh, fiber particle board, I think, or MDF, um, is much heavier, denser, and much more robust. I think, and and this one's got like a green tinge to the inside, so I think it also might have a, a water repellent. I think in it so that's another bonus I think so we'll find out as we go along stay tuned Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So we're uh, we're still in conversation with the bespoke cabinet builders and kind of finally found out a bit of a price. It seems that for their store, they do it per meter, which includes upper cabinets and lower cabinets. So for one meter of upper and lower cabinets is gonna be six million dong, which works out about $300 per meter for upper and lower. That's without the counter top included. But the counter top is uh, relatively inexpensive. It's $150 for a composite uh, concrete marble effect uh, material, which is um, it's pretty reasonable. Three meter length for $150. I mean, I'd, I'd go for that. They have a selection of colors to choose from. The one that's in there is a white, creamy, kind of marble-esque finish, which um, looks pretty cool. Um, but probably you could find a better match for each color. So depending on which laminate finish we go for on the doors, which would be just a bold gray or bold blue, just one plain color, nothing marble or anything. So i um, quite happy with what we found so far. And the price is reasonable. They'll come out, measure, quote and um, we can probably take it from there so now we are swapping phone numbers and 
uh, we'll go back home and measure the kitchen and have a serious think about how much money we can afford um, to spend on the kitchen, basically, and how many cabinets we need, and we'll, realistically as well. And like, where does the washing machine go, the fridge, how that's going to be incorporated into it? And is there, there is some cabinets that can surround the fridge with a, a pull out drawer above it. So we'll have a think. Okay, so stick with us, folks. We're gonna we're gonna zip about looking for some other places to find some cabinetry. So, yeah. Hey, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Well, it's me and Maya here today. After a busy day looking for kitchens, we're back home and just uh, relaxing. But somebody here, a little monkey here, wants to climb around a little bit. So I'm letting her just play around. Ooh. You want to say hello? Hello. Hmm. You shy? You want to say hello? Daddy. Yeah, daddy. Yeah, daddy's there. Hmm. That's Maya. Baby Maya. It's daddy. Hmm, it's Maya. It's daddy. Yes, I see you. Hey, folks. It's the end of another beautiful day here in Vietnam. And I'm very appreciative of everything that's been happening over the last six weeks. Da -da. Yeah, very appreciative of everything that's happening since I've arrived here, and especially for uh, my wife and young one here. So um, the adventure continues. Uh, the kitchen undecided yet, but um, so if you like the video today, if you like the content, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another adventure.